25 ans, 27 ans, je vais enseigner les mathématiques en anglais. So, la un est difficile pour moi pour me perdre du créer anglais à net pour créer un anglais. Bon, anyway, guys, bear with me. Mr. Bosper, come. Ok, take over, Mr. Bosper. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. I'm Mr. Prosper. Hopefully, if you remember from the previous videos, we started off with um, like all the types of numbers out there, the real numbers. I'll just do a brief recap so it can explain like how we go from the real numbers, what they are, to what we're going to talk today first, algebraic properties, and then ultimately order of operations. Again, um, Mr. Paul and I, we came up with this idea of making um, pre-algebra, algebra one uh, classes available online for specifically Haitian speaking students, because in my high school, it's very predominantly Haitian students right um in new york city and i i know um a lot of them could do better if there was a way for me to get the math to them uh language wise right i don't know creole mr Pollen does and so again our goal for these videos is to sort of hopefully get the math simplified so that anyone can understand it but also in a way that we can mr Pollen can explain it in creole so again i just wanted to um Go over briefly what we did before, right? Last video, we talked about natural numbers, right? Natural numbers were one, two, three, four, five, six, onward. And then we went to whole numbers. And all whole numbers did was include zero. Whole numbers just include zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, onward. And then we had integers, right? Because now you have zeros, you can get negative numbers. So integers, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, to a negative infinity, like Mr. Pond said last time, or one, two, three, four, five, six, to positive infinity. But then, right, you have numbers that are rational, and hopefully, I was able to explain it very simply. Rational numbers are numbers that you can show as a ratio, as a fraction. Those would be the numbers in between, right, the whole numbers. But even a whole number can be considered a rational number because you could turn a whole number into a fraction. And then we talked about irrational, which is outside of rational. So if you can't change it to a fraction, like the number pi, that's irrational. And then we said all these numbers were real numbers.